Hey guys, I want to congratulate first everybody that participated in Crush Cancer. Big weekend for CFLA, raising thousands of dollars for cancer research. Additionally, uh, yesterday a lot of people uh, from the CrossFit Los Angeles triathlon team competed and competed well. Um, despite ridiculous, ridiculously challenging waves, uh, Charlie got second in his age group, Das, Eli, and um, Spalio got first in their uh, in their team division. Nikki got first in her age group. Rai Rai got third. Um, overall, we had about 20 people competing in uh, the triathlon. Congratulations to everybody that's been training. Awesome work all quarter. Um, this week, what do we got? We got 20 heavy front squats coming at you today. Again, just adding 2%. Um, we're coming into the final three weeks of these lifts, so these should most certainly be heavy. If you're missing, go back uh, two percentage points uh, and build back through that coming into a retest week in a month. Uh, on Tuesday, Tuesday is a huge pulling day, so no matter what, make sure that your posterior chain is open. That means everything from the fascia on the bottom of your feet through your Achilles, your calves, and your hamstrings, and your low back are all open and feeling loose. Why? Because you've got keeping pull-up practice, some high volume deadlifts and some uh, modestly heavy uh, power snatches um, all in the same day. So you got to take care of that backside in order to snatch and snatch well. You're totally in shape to do it. Just know that you got to take care of that backside. On Wednesday, we've got our favorite Franklin Hill. Are you going to show up? Yes, you are. Why? Because it's good for you. It's our high uh, dosage um, max return for the work put in. Franklin Hill Sprints. Six on the six, you guys know we've been doing it at CFLA for years. It's a bugger. Also, that night, treat yourselves because we have the documentary Heart of a Champion. It's a story of Corey Reed who set history through the CrossFit Los Angeles walls a few years ago by being the first um, um, blind amputee to compete in an able-bodied CrossFit competition. And that happened with his teammates, Zach, Shirley, and Nikki. We're going to watch that documentary, watch this process of not knowing that much about CrossFit to competing in the competition just three months after he started. Um, Thursday, we're working that bench press again. Coming into those final weeks, make sure you get that strength day in so when you retest Lynn, you're benching and benching strong. I know all the guys lo love it. Ladies, by the way, you're killing it. Uh, and lastly, on Friday, we've got a mental toughness workout that is one of the, one of the gym favorites. It's a relatively new one in the scope of our history of, of CrossFit, but it's called Med Ball Mania. Now, if you missed it last year, it wound up being a hit, uh, and I would encourage all to come uh, try that workout on Friday afternoon. As always, you guys have a smart week of training, and again, one more big congratulations to everybody that participated in Crush Cancer, all of our uh, triathletes, CFLA tries hard. You can hashtag that forever. And lastly, we'll see you Wednesday night at 7.30 after you've done the Franklin Hill Sprints for Corey Reed's free documentary night. It's uh, the showcase of the film. See you then. Love you guys. Peace.